Good evening and welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. You clicked on to Long Range Weather Forecast discussion for March 10th to the 22nd. We're going to talk about another change coming, but that doesn't occur to um, the third period of this forecast. We're going to look at the period for uh, March 10th to the 14th, and this is what we're pretty much looking at. We have a trough here across eastern Canada and the northeast, and we have a, an upper low and a trough over the um, Pacific near Hawaii, and we have a, a deep ridge uh, near the Aleutians with above Numa Heights across much of the nation. <clears throat> We're going to go forward a time, and this is the 14th. Little change in the overall pattern. Miles are in agreement with this, and we're going to go through the miles. I'm just going to go through um, some of the models here. Okay, um, what we're forecasting is that energy from the Eastern Pacific is forecast to reach the Western U.S. late in the period. A trough is forecast to track across the Northern U.S. towards Eastern Canada towards the Eastern Canada Trough and merge. This will result in rebuilding of the Pacific Ridge and a trough that begins to approach the West Coast. So we're going to go forward in time and this is <clears throat> the 14th. And we start seeing the trough start approaching the West Coast. <clears throat> Temperatures in the West are forecast to be about 10 10 degrees above normal. Temperatures in the east are forecast to be near or slightly below normal. We see anomalies here about five to, uh, five degrees below normal. Uh, the trough in the center of the nation during this period, along with the ridge in the Bahamas, will result in a wet pattern from the Gulf Coast Northeast, some wish, uh, some wintry precipitation is possible as the moisture reaches the northeast. Now we're going to look at the period from March 13th to the 17th. This is the 13th. We don't have much uh, change in the pattern here, and we're going to go now to the 17th. Miles still forecasting this trough here that that over the eastern Pacific, and we have a trough over Alaska and eastern Canada with above normal heights across much of the nation here. Models are in pretty good agreement with this scenario. As we go through the pattern, through the, through the models here. During this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures across this region here, below normal temperatures for Texas, and below normal temperatures for the Northeast. Temperature anomalies. forecast to be about 10 to 15 degrees above normal across much of the nation and about 10 maybe 10 degrees below normal across Texas I would see here I see about 10 degrees 10 to 15 degrees with some 15 degree uh, 20 degrees across southwest for precipitation I'm calling for below normal precipitation for California and above normal precipitation for the northern middle Atlantic and the northeast. Now we're going to look at the period from March 18th to the 22nd. Models are not in very good agreement during this period and I'm going to show you here. Um, this is the GFS and it has above normal heights across much of North America. We have a trough here. We still have our trough now that was over eastern Canada pushed further to the east and we have a deep trough here. Now if you look at the GEFS it's pretty much the same here. It has a trough pretty much a weaker pattern but it has a trough off to the northeast and a trough off the west coast. 
Now we're looking at Okay, see what model this is. The European Ensembles. And you can see the Europe, European Ensembles brings back a trough here across the Northeast and a ridge here, and we have a trough over the East of Pacific. We look at the other model. I want to show you here, that we look at this model here, compared to the uh, European ensembles, the European ensemble has a deeper trough here with the ridge across this region, and then we look at the Canadian, it has a weaker trough, more settled across North America, uh, Eastern Canada. Now the temperature anomalies here, this is the... Um, European ensembles has temperatures about 5, 10 to 15 degrees above normal across much of the nation. And then we look at the other ensembles. Let me see if I can get, I'm losing some of these maps here. You see this model here it has um, temperatures of about five degrees below normal along the across the eastern U.S. and about five to twenty degrees above normal in the west. So during this forecast period, I am forecasting above normal temperatures here, below normal temperatures for this region, and for precipitation. I use the um, GEFS and we'll look at that. Hold on a second. it's not going to show up so I use the GEFS ensembles and it has above normal precipitation for the southeast below normal precipitation for this region so that is a long range weather forecast discussion for March 10th to the 22nd thank you for coming to Jim Monley's World of Weather and have a good day